we are all hopeful, you know, the talk amongst professionals is maybe this is the opportunity to go back. Now, when I say until yesterday, obviously, we would have had an expectation of what we expect the cabinet to have. You know, we expected a bit of technocrats, a bit of, you know, a bit of uh, inclusivity in terms of trying to bring new ideas. Because as professionals, you would want to say, for us to change from where we are right now as a nation of Zimbabwe, we need a radical shift or a radical change in mindset. The current system back home is quite informal. We have professional people who are not doing what they are, were taught. You have siblings right now who are finishing their educational programs, their university programs. They were kept or, or, or get a degree and they put it, you know, at home in the display and they do something else. You know, most are becoming entrepreneurs. So from a professional who's outside, you know, one would be hesitant to just all of a sudden say, I want to go back to Zimbabwe. You know, unfortunately, uh, if you work in an environment where you, you have South Africans as part of your, your work colleagues, the first question they would ask you is, when are you going back? The assumption is, Mugabe is gone, so Zimbabwe has to improve. And for it to improve, you have to go back. Just to give you one statistics, as chartered accountants, the membership is sitting at over 2,000, you know, globally. Yeah, no, 2,000, the whole of the, whole of, 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 of the, the, the membership. 50% of that are outside Zimbabwe. A great chunk is in South Africa, as well as another chunk in, in the UK. So we are talking of 50% of professional people, qualified chartered accountants, who are assisting everywhere else except Zimbabwe. To bring them back will require that type of significant shift, which currently people are becoming to become hesitant. So it's going to be a mission.